bonuses and the accolades have continued to pile up for one of the best heavyweights in the world, Stipe Miocic, and rightfully so. Of course, who can forget when he wrested the belt away from Fabricio Verdum in Brazil at UFC 198? And then what he did after the fact against Alistair Overeem and Junior Dos Santos put him on a pedestal as truly one of the best heavyweights of all time. And it should, because when you have those types of names on your resume, you will be considered one of the greatest fighters the division has ever seen. Stipe has the ability to win fights in a number of ways. Unbelievable boxer, has great footwork, but also was a division one level wrestler right. at Cleveland State University. Fights fires pretty well too. I'm He's told. really good at that. Yes, I went to the firehouse and it's intense as it comes. Stipe Miocic, as usual, ready to battle as he tries to take home the title. Just when you thought you had seen it all in the octagon, we are graced with the presence of one Cassius Clay, Muhammad Ali, taking his act to mixed martial arts. Team. I mean, he's so pretty, John. And I always huh. says, I'm so pretty. He looked pretty inside the boxing ring. He intends to do the same thing inside the octagon tonight. This guy is such a great athlete. He talks what he's going to do, but he also delivers. Olympic gold medalist, boxing heavyweight, light heavyweight world champion. He has done it all. A true icon in combat sports makes his UFC debut tonight. And to the surprise of some, he told us in the fighter meeting he's got an appetite for the wrestling stuff. So we'll see if Ali can mix it up a little bit tonight. Happy to have him here in the UFC. Muhammad Ali ready to engage yet again here tonight. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Dupe Miocic. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad Ali. The veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. All right, here we go. Two of the best heavyweights on this roster, Muhammad Ali and Stipe Miocic. A lot of this fan base did not believe that Ali was going to take this fight. Not only is he taking this fight, but he believes he's going to beat the greatest heavyweight in the UFC. I mean, Stipe is the consensus greatest heavyweight the UFC has ever seen. He gets an opportunity to put that against the greatest boxer of all time. How does Stipe approach this fight? Well, knowing that he has a real high boxing pedigree himself, it would seem wrestling would be the key. But we will see. Nice shot there by the champ. All right, early action here in the heavyweight division, and there's Stipe Miocic finding a home for that pull right hand early. He does it really well. He baits you into throwing something, and the moment you throw, he slips and lets the right hand fly. He did it constantly against Francis Ngannou in the first fight. It has become one of his better strikes throughout his UFC career. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, a huge block there. Three minutes to go. Oh, and he connects there. He's got to start kicking. Kicking the body, kicking the head. He's just got to start kicking. Nice shot inside by the champion. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. 
Look at the investment that this young man is making to the body with those strikes. Immediately gets the underhook. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. His opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. All right, so the overhand has certainly been a big weapon for him here tonight. Look for him to go right back to it here if he can find an opening. Miacic going for the takedown here, but he misses. Well, you gotta think he might be trying to set up that overhand again. He's found a home for it all night long. Let's see if that holds true. One minute to go in the round. Muhammad Ali gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Big shot to the head. Final seconds here of round one. Oh, what's next? Heading back to the corner after that round. Muhammad Ali's got a cut to deal with above the eye, or perhaps better put, the cut man has got to deal with it. We'll see if he can stop the bleeding. All right, back to the stools between rounds. That gives us time to look back at some of the replays, including some of those strikes that caused the damage, particularly to his forehead. Damage to the forehead. Expect a lot of blood. But when you look at him, he looks like he still wants to be in there. It does not seem like the blood is affecting him. Now, you could want to be there as much as you can, you want to. But you got to do things Ready. better defensively. Or ultimately, he's going to get you out of it. He's got to move his head. He's got to stay off the center line. And he's got to press forward, put his opponent on his heels. All right. Put well. All of a sudden, we got a new storyline in this one. The cut on his forehead. We will keep an eye on it as this next round gets underway. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Ali. He's looking for that left hand, not there. Well, that strike right there, that pull right hand, as you call it, has really become a trademark of Stipe Miocic on the feet. Yeah, you gotta be very careful how you approach Stipe because he sets you up. He will feint a jab when you return. He pulls and he hits you with the right hand. And right now, his opponent is not picking up on it. Stipe can put you to sleep if you aren't careful in the way that you approach him. Nice jab by the heavyweight Miocic. Well, no surprise, he goes for the takedown there, unable to get the fight to the canvas. This is a testament to his opponent, his ability to see the shots coming, defend them, and make the fight happen where he wants to. Oh, beautiful handiwork there from Stipe Miocic. His head coach, Marcus Marinelli, really feels like during this training camp, Stipe took his boxing to the next level. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He is really... That's as good a punch as he's thrown on. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that land perfect. And that one landed perfect. Muhammad Ali's back in full goal. Oh, good ground and pound here. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, big elbow. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Oh, nice hook by the heavyweight Miocic. Yes! Yes! All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You gotta take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground upon. Miacic is in half goal. Are right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Ali getting absolutely worked from the top here on the wrong end of nearly all of these ground and pound strikes. And he's back up. 30 seconds to go in round two. Oh, that one landed. Maybe the 
Arnold Moses. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on Wazzle Lake. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh. Outstanding oh. round. Do you believe it? Another five minutes coming up. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cutman will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. Go Here ahead. we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully, the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taking to this cut. Easier said than done. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Oh, right into Mount. Now he's got good body position, yup. Uh, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, and there it is. It was only a matter of time. That ground strike has cut him open. Just over two minutes to go. Ground and pound strike there now. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Pretty productive with the strikes here off his back. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice grounded pound by Miacic. Motioning for his opponent to stand back up here. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Well, he's looking for that left hand just out of range, though, with it. Both guys appear to land there. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Take down a template, and it's good. Uh, That's three rounds. Rock, rock, rock. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, you're cut. No big deal. Just a little scratch. Don't mind the blood. We do need you to protect yourself so the ref doesn't try and stop this fight. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Ready to fight? Ready. Come we on. have arrived at the fourth round fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Take a deep breath. 
Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, shots landing on both sides. And the chins continue to hold up. Staying busy on the bottom. All right, feet on the hips here. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Ali. And again, dealing with that cut around his eye. Got to be careful. He's got to shore up the defense because if he keeps getting hit there, it's only going to continue to get worse. Great ground and pound by this man. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. It's a straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Under two minutes here to go, round four. in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times. Oh! That'll do it! Wow! Wow! I mean, you got to be kidding me. Everybody here inside this arena digesting what they just saw. That is not a TKO, folks. That is a clean knockout result tonight. I mean, just wow. What a performance by this young man knocking his opponent out with a single shot like that. Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 43 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by... No!